Hey, this is Daryl with SonsOfThunderPro.com as well as iTeachPianoOnline.com. And I want to thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, I want to answer a question that was sent to me by a fellow piano teacher by the name of Mike. Mike says, hey, Daryl, I thoroughly enjoyed your live stream. And I got to know, what software are you using to pull your hands and to pull the software online at the same time? or on screen rather at the same time and so Mike I'm glad to answer that question uh, I'm using some new software especially when I'm doing my live streams but I also have this in my recording workflow and so we're getting ready to talk about it right now but before we do make sure you click the like make sure you uh, subscribe and also make sure that you click that notification bell so that you can stay informed for all of the new content that we are dropping in the days and the weeks to come so let's get started with the training now the software that I'm using is a software called Ecamm live I would encourage you to check it out I have the link in the description below and I do want to be clear open and honest with you that link below um, is a affiliate link so that if you decide to purchase this software through that link after you after you try it out the, the trial I will get a small commission for that but I do want you to understand that I'm not telling you about a software that I don't use I use Ecamm literally uh, probably at least five days a week so I use e Ecamm uh, for my piano teaching I use e <laughs> Ecamm for my ministry I'm a I'm a preacher and a teacher so I use it to, to teach I use it for my zoom meeting so I literally use Ecamm all the time. So I would not recommend something that I don't use that I don't have in my everyday workflow. And so I am so excited just to talk about it uh, and just excited to expose you to it. And I'm glad Mike asked me this question because it gives me an opportunity to talk about it. So I want to do something in, in, um, in Ecamm. I want to show you my screen. And I'm going to go into what's called live demo mode. And this just allows you to see Ecamm from my perspective versus seeing it uh, from just the end video point of view. So there's, there's a few things going on. First is you'll see that you have this, you have this screen here, which shows me of course but it but what it is this is actually my program feed but it also houses these buttons so if i were to hover over this over this feed i would have these buttons here and this first button is my overlays button uh this is my sound levels this is my camera effects this button here is my sound effects this if, if if I'm live doing a live stream, I'll be able to pull my comments in by, by clicking this. This uh, is for the interview mode. So let's say that I want to bring another piano teacher in or another player in. I can send them a link and they can come into my live stream or into my recording. And then this button here, this shows my settings and my, my preferences, All right, And so this is a great way to be able to navigate. You also have some buttons here. So th 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 this, this button here is just the, the camera that you're seeing. If I click this button, this is actually my, my share screen. And we're going to talk about this in a second. And if I had some pre-recorded video, I would click this button up here and this button would show any pre-recorded um, video that I have set. Now I do want to be, I want you to be mindful that you have this, this navigation up here, you know, the, the, the edit, uh, where you have some stuff you could do there. You have the, 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 the scenes. I'm going to talk about scenes in a second, your sources. So I can, I can make my source blank. Or I can I could bring my my, my camera. Uh, you have your actual cameras, mics, overlays, recording, output options. All right. So once you download the software, you can play with all of those um, different uh, sections of it. But the main thing I want you to pay attention to right now is this program feed. And we're going to talk a lot about scenes and definitely overlays today. We'll talk about some other areas, but definitely scenes and, and overlays. So let's go to this scenes. Uh, bar. And what I love about a software like like Ecamm 
is that it allows you to produce on the fly. And so one of the things that you can do is think about ahead of time what you want the end user to see. So what do you want your students to see in this production? Right now, I have a scene with me on screen, so so you see me. Uh, so why don't we create another scene, and this scene is going to be dedicated, uh, and we'll call this um, we'll, we'll call this our MIDI notes. So we'll call this MIDI notes, and let me let me make sure I have this in the right place. I wanna I wanna pull this up, so I actually. Those those folders you see, the, the, those folders are from other shows that I'm running now. But so this is this this right here is going to be my MIDI notes. OK, so right now it doesn't look any different. You still see me on screen. So what I want to do is I want to go to this screen share. So I'm at this screen share. And what I want to do here is I want to click on the on the software that I am using to display my notes. So right now I'm using Mediculous 4. And so now that I have that on screen, I can zoom in on this. So I'm gonna just press this, this plus sign and I'm gonna zoom in. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna press this, I'm gonna press this overlays button. So this top overlays button, I'm gonna press this. And then I'm going to add a camera here and this is going to be my face. So you got me back on screen. I'm just going to stretch this out just a little bit. And so you have me on screen and you also have the MIDI note. So now we can we can do our, our training now where we have um, me talking and you have my notes on screen and you also have um, my musical staff. And, and again, all I'm doing is I'm showing the software Mediculous and this is Mediculous 4. So look at what I have. So my first scene is just me talking. And then my second scene, I can go into more detail. So I can, I can go into me talking um, uh, and teaching, right? So let's just say I want one more scene and I want this to be my, I want this to show my hands, okay? So I already, I'm already here. I've, I've already made the scene. And just in case you missed it, I'm just clicking this, this plus sign here to create a empty scene. And so now what I want to do is I want to go to this switcher tab and this has my different cameras. Um, and so I have my, my M50, which is the one that, that you're viewing me on right now, but I have an overhead camera, which is a, a, a web camera right now that's plugged in. And this is a Logitech Brio. And now I have my keyboard. The only problem is it's upside down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this button, see like the magical wand, and that's my camera effects. So I'm going to go to my Logitech Brio, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate this 180. So now I have that rotated. So uh, you can see that, but let's just say that I want me on screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my overlays. I'm going to click on camera overlay. I have a camera overlay up. I'm going to click this little pencil icon to change the camera. And I want this to be my M50. And now I'm on screen. So you can see me. I can do a, a live stream with me with me teaching. So you're able to see my hands. So, you know, I, I wanted to show it. So I, I, I do have my little mini a keyboard in, in front of me right now. I don't. I never teach with this, but uh, this was just easy to pull on, on the desk real quick so that I can get this video going. So as you see, now I've got multiple scenes. So I've got the scene with me talking. I've got the scene with my MIDI notes and I got the scene with my hands. So I could do a scene if, if I wanted to. I won't do that on camera right now because it'd be a little involved, but I could I could create a scene where I have everything on at the same time. Where where's my hands and and it's the um it's the it's the keyboard. I can have different graphics flowing in on screen. But the thing that I love about a software like Ecam is that I can control movement um, throughout the actual broadcast. 
And I can, again, I can make this a recording or I can make this a live stream either way. And so this, this helps me to produce on the fly. So I don't always have to record and then edit. I do, I do still do that, but there are also times I just want to record, produce while I'm recording, and then I have the completed video at the end. And so Ecamm is a great way to actually do that. Let me take this out of live, um, live demo mode so that you're able to see um, what, what the end user would see. So this is just me talking in the cameras. Let's say I'm opening up my, my piano lesson. Um, well, now I want to get into showing you some MIDI notes. Now I want you to see my hands because I want you to see my exact finger. Let me go to scene three. Okay. And so I went through all of the different scenes that I set up and you can have as many scenes as you want to have. Uh, so you can really get involved with this. You can have your, um, you can have your logos flying in. There's a lot of great things that you can do with Ecamm Live. And I just want to make sure that I answered that question. Mike, that was a great question. And it gave me an opportunity just to talk to so many piano teachers are trying to figure out how do I live stream? How do I get out there? And Ecamm Live is a great way in order for you to do that. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. Also, do want you to know that I one of the things that I love to do is I love to consult piano teachers, well, really music teachers, because I, I have guitar teachers and other people who are teaching that we are working with now. Uh, but if you want to learn how to do more in the online space, we have our pivot course available. It is on sale right now, and I cover all of these concepts. I go over Ecamm. I go over OBS. OBS is a free platform in which I'm going to talk about in a video probably tomorrow um, we, we cover a software called cam twist cover a software called mini cam uh, we just we just cover all the different ins and outs of teaching on a live stream versus teaching on YouTube or Facebook videos versus teaching via zoom because one of the things that you can do with ecamm is ecamm serves as a virtual camera so everything that you've been seeing me do setting up scenes and then switching scenes I do that in my one-on-one -on -one piano coaching session. So when I have a, a piano student that reaches out to me for, for personal lessons, I'm using Ecamm to plug into Zoom so that we have a more professional environment to work with. They're able to see my hands, they're able to see my MIDI notes, they're able to see whatever PowerPoint presentation I have. I work that into my Zoom. Um, and so we we break all that type of stuff down, all, all that detailed stuff, we are break that down in the in the pivot course and we also talk about some so some business concepts that is essential for piano teachers so if it's something that you are interested in that link is below also you can catch the link to ecamm uh, you can you can click on that link uh, below you'll be helping us to uh, give more content to, to students who are following this channel i want you to pay attention because i'm going to be doing a video on obs probably Probably tomorrow or maybe two days from now. I really want you to see what OBS is all about as well. So this is Daryl Cook. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope I answered you, your question, Mike. And I'm looking forward to answering more questions over the days and the weeks to come. I'm Daryl Cook once again, SunsThunderPro.com as well as iTeachPianoOnline.com. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.